2024, I not they agree for anybody. I know no who go carry that slams come at my people. The matter be like you no go go away. Mm. Me they change them. Who bring that matter come? Since 2024, bars goes, was saga everywhere. Where did they play? Just in thing, called the police for her. I really felt for this lady. She has been through a lot. Hey, all because she went to go marry this man when I did see. But I scream, my correct, correct. Cora talk and say she don't want any drama again from Justin Dean. She just want to move on. She just want to focus on herself and her children. May them co-parent in peace. But Justin and the people when they push them, they not yell. They could not watch what they play. Hi, right, ma'am, Cora? Yes. All right, can we just talk to you for a second? So, uh, Justin, your uh, ex-husband or current husband, right? I guess uh, called us saying there's some um, supposed to be exchanging children. There's a child custody issue going on, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I guess this week is his week. I guess you swap off. There's a court order saying you swap um, yeah. each week. One week's his, one week's yours. Yeah, he didn't show up on Sunday. He didn't show up. I read it as a he was going for four hours yesterday. He didn't show up. Okay. Um, where were you supposed to meet at? Pickup spot, which is his, off his, his office, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, he doesn't work there anymore. He doesn't, mm -mm. okay. Um, so we're just here to you know facilitate just a peaceful exchange. You know, we're not gonna nobody's going to jail or anything like that. So I'm assuming it's not his time, it's not his time. It's because time is 5 p.m. on Sunday, okay. He didn't show up for the pickup, he didn't show up four hours already yesterday. So the next pickup is 5 p.m. Yeah. I went to the police and they said, okay, the, pick, the exchange was more successful. Next week is the next exchange time and you attempt another exchange and there was a violation of the, of the agreement okay. based on him not showing up. Okay. So, do, you, do you have a copy of the agreement yeah. or the, the court, court papers? Um, yeah, but it's, I have to send it to you. It's soft copy. Okay, do you have it on your, uh, your phone? Can we just take a look at it? Do you want to see the time, the custody times, or? Yeah, we just want to see the, just make sure that the order's still good and it's, you know. Yeah, it's, it's still good, but I'll have to go up and send it to your email or something. You can't access it through your phone? No, not, not at the moment. Okay, you don't have a hard copy on with you either? Not in my car. Of course, I have a hard copy in my documents, but not in my car. Okay, um, so there's no way you're willing to exchange today or do any? I mean. Because technically it is, it would be his week, right? If yeah, he, if it showed up but he did. It was, it was unsuccessful, and I went to the um, co uh, to the police station. And right, right. I understand not, that. So, but te yeah. technically, this would be his week, though, right? Technically, yes, yes. but it was unsuccessful. So I propose okay. that next pickup is 5 p.m. on yeah. Sunday. He can get them for two weeks. Okay. I'm not. I'm not ambitious. I don't want anything. But she just started school yesterday. Okay. I waited for him four hours. He didn't show up. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I thought he, because what he told us is that he showed up and you. That's didn't... a lie. That's a lie. Oh. Yeah. He okay. didn't show up for four hours. We, I and the kids were in the car for four hours. Okay. Yeah. Um, have you thought about maybe going to like the police station and exchanging there? Was that maybe a better location or? Um, um that's not the. That's not the. So he used to pick up right here. Yeah. And they didn't. He didn't show up on for some reason. So I was like, okay, wow, what happened? And then he didn't show up at the pickup spot. And then, yeah. Okay. So, so you're not willing to, just so my, my understanding, you're not willing to like, exchange to, uh, today, even though he missed no, Sunday? No, not, not in the middle of the week. It has to be 5 p.m. on Sunday, according to the court order. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay, you can okay I just, no, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I'm just asking. Yeah. That's all. I'm just, no, I'm you know, just I'm not, following I'm not trying to twist your arm or anything like that. I'm, we're just here to keep the peace, make sure, you know, everybody's okay and happy. Everyone's fine. Yeah. My daughter just started school today. So How old is your daughter? Four. Four? Okay. Um, all right then. Um, I guess maybe we'll just try again uh, next Sunday. Sunday. 5 p.m. Yeah, next next Sunday. Yeah. So we'll do that. Okay. Um, and then are you able to show me the, the copy so you're able to access it or you don't have? If you have an email, I can email it to you as soon as I get it. Okay. Okay. Um, that's it, man. I mean, we should try it. So. Do you have any questions for us or something that could maybe help out or clear up or? Um. Well, at least. Um, you're doing your job, so thank you. Yeah, no worries, man. Okay. Good 
morning, welcome to my live. I'm for Obedi, the singing, dancing princess. All the way. You're writing? You're writing your words all the way from the motherland. This morning, I want to address a few issues. In my year of abundance, 2024, it's zero drama, more traveling, more checks, more innovative ways of money making, more cruise, more vibes, more happiness, zero defamation, zero nonsense, tolerance, no BS. That being said, yesterday, I was washing my motto peacefully and some people use their white privilege to get... To get me rattled up again. Mommy. Yes, my queen. By calling the cops on me. Yeah. So I want to explain what had happened. And this is not me engaging in drama. This is me seeing a lot of bloggers running with nonsense news. They don't have any news. They don't have the right information. So they're just saying nonsense. So I'm going to just say my piece. And I'm going to say it one time. And I'm going to focus on my life. Okay? Okay. Yeah. On Sunday, yeah. it was 5 p.m. to pick up the girls, as usual. Uh, yeah. Yes, usually um, for the last couple of weeks, the pickup has been in front of my house because I had a car issue a while back and it was very convenient. Father was very okay with this situation. He would say, Make up, meet at the court appointed place, but he will end up coming to my house and it would be very convenient. I'll get the girls outside amicably and things were fine. Um, all of a sudden, yes, my queen, he didn't want that anymore. And it's still really Crossland. Thank you for two, um, 650 stars. Um, 5 p.m. on Sunday, I was expecting. As usual for him to come grab the girls and he didn't um, so I was like he said meet up at the court appointed day and if you guys remember on Sunday it was icy cold very icy cold I thought it was one of his um, one of his um, you know <laughs> sometimes I thought it was one of his gimmicks. I was like, hey, we're upstairs. When you're ready, please come. The girls are cold. We have been waiting for you outside for the last 30 minutes. We're going to go upstairs. When you're ready, please come here and pick the girls. Like I said, my car is not in the best shape. And this place they are telling us to go to, that's the court appointed place. It's no longer your place of, of it's not, you don't work there anymore. So it, it doesn't make sense that we're just going to a parking lot of a place that you don't work anymore to go drop the girls when you can just drop them in front of my house. But anyway, he has dropped the, the girls off in front of my house for close to, what's close to two months now, no problem. But this particular day, he said no. So I said no problem. The next thing, you know, I woke up in the morning, we communicate to, through this thing called Talking Parents. It's an app when you don't, com, you know, communicate with the other parent, you talk with an app. I opened the app and he said, I will be there at your house with the police. I said, eh? <laughs> I'll be there at your house with the police at 2.30. I'm like, no, don't bring the police to my residence. This place is very peaceful and I don't want any police drama. I don't want drama from you this year. Please leave. <laughs> if you want me to go and drop them off at the court place, appointed place, no problem. I will go and drop them off. So that day I had already planned to go and register June at her school. Dion Marie, read Elaine. Thank you for 200 stars. Appreciate you. Um, so as soon as I went, finished registering June from school, I went straight to the court appointed pickup and I dropped them. And I said, hey, I'm here. Instead of coming to my house with the police at two o'clock, please come to this court appointed pickup that you really want me to drop the kids off at. And come and pick up your kids. I got there. I got there at one o'clock. At exactly one o'clock, I got there because I didn't want any police in my. 
oh my god phyllis zems thank you for three thousand stars appreciate you Mali Chawai, thank you for a thousand stars appreciate you because i didn't want any police at my doorstep i don't want any drama you guys saw me Mali. saying i don't want any drama i don't want to call this man in my life anymore but i think the only way he can stay relevant is by roping me into drama and i know that this is the game he's playing I said I don't want any police at my house at 2.30 so I went to the court appointed pickup that he wants us to drop them and I said we are here. Oh, I got there at 1 o'clock. I and my kids were there at 1 o'clock. At 3.30 I was asking this man still where are you? I went into the office. They said oh he doesn't work here anymore. He just comes in and goes out. Doesn't work here anymore. 2 o'clock. One hour we were waiting in the car. Two hours we were waiting in the car. Three hours we were waiting in the car. At 3 30, I picked my kids up. I Where went to the local the police house? station and filed a report. I have been waiting for this man for close to four hours. The kids were agitated. I think I started crying rigorously. June was tired. They were just tired of waiting in the car. You know how kids get when they wait in the car for too long. So, yes, my love. So, I went and I got some, um, I got the kids some <laughs> water some snacks and then i went to the police station and then i filed the report that we had come i just did not want anyone bringing the police to my house at 2 30 because of you know next thing he said i said are you still coming here are you still coming here the next thing this man said i should meet him at the police station i'm like what's all this drama about it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like the only way you can stay relevant is by dragging me into drama so you can get free PR, get free press, or get some action on your page. Why can't you just show your talents or do something instead of roping me into drama, threatening me with bringing police to my house? Anyway, once I went to the police, I was told by the police that since that exchange was unsuccessful, when is the next exchange on according to court order i went to the court appointed to avoid any sort of um discrepancy or police in front of my house i don't want any more drama in my life um yes yes baby the police said okay when is the next court appointed time to pick up i said it will be on sunday at five i said okay since this one was unsuccessful the next one at five at five what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to you are going to have to equalize the time so if you've taken care of them for this two weeks he can have another two weeks do not um um do not this exchange is unsuccessful so you have to abort and wait for the next pickup and then you give him the two weeks i said okay and i left when he said, are you still coming to the police station? Are you still coming? I said, no. <laughs> We've been waiting for four hours. Uh, Apparently, according to some bloggers, he was um, eating <laughs> spaghetti while I was in the car with the children, crying. Anyway. Yes, baby. I said, now, wow, is this a new system of punishing me or what? <laughs> as soon as I say I'm done with the drama. You drag me inside and the police is going to be outside your house. We're going to come at two. I said, what's all this? No. Yes, I my queen. Anyway, I eventually, um, I eventually, um, got the police reports, got the, um, court violation and everything. I sent it to the group explain my thing in the journal the thing about that app is you can explain everything and then whatnot and then i came home the next thing i saw in the messages is you um that exchange must happen but i'm like we waited for you for four hours we waited for you for four hours anyway as i was washing my car yesterday Hey, I saw police came. We just want to make sure that I'm like, hello, officer. You guys saw the entire encounter. Yes, my love. What do you want? Here, here, your vegan cake. Yummy, vegan cake. Watching my car, the police showed up. 
So what is the, we just want to ensure a peaceful exchange. I'm said, I said, no man is above the law. The exchange time is 5 p.m. on a Sunday. This court appointed pickup spot is no longer a place that he works. That's why I was saying that front of my house is a place that is at least is in front of my house. But that place, you don't work there anymore. It's just a, it's anyway. The police said, okay, so what is going to happen? And I'm like, we're going to wait for the court appointed time and we're going to exchange. And when we exchange, he can have them for two whole weeks. He's fine to have them for as long as he wants. I don't want any issues. I don't want any problem. But we all have to follow the law because at the end of the day, we are nobody is above the law. You know? But Tasha and Lou, thank you for a thousand stars. Appreciate you. But this is what I'm saying with as soon as I announce that I don't want to be a part of the drama anymore. This is what I get. I'm coming to your house with the police at 2.30. Be there at 2.30. Don't bring the police to my house. We, show, we showed up at the pickup place and waited for you for four hours. You didn't show up. And now you want to bring the police to my house? Why are you a drama king? You are, you are, you need, you need a, you need a tiara. Mali Chawani, thank you for a thousand stars. Appreciate you. Anyway, that is what happened. And I want everybody to know. Good morning, sir. I'm fine. Sorry, sir. Um, <laughs> How are you? I saw my Christmas gift. Thank you, sir. <laughs> my money in the in the. <laughs> I saw the money you gave me in the card. It was for the kids. <laughs> I already spent it. June. You're too old. Thank you, dear God. That's your dear God. Did you say good morning? <laughs> and so yeah this is a star party oh my god ah <laughs> i love you guys ah uh, so hey this is what happened though we waited for four hours he was nowhere to be found apparently he was eating spaghetti talking about <laughs> while we were in the car waiting for him june was saying where's my daddy she you know how june compensates herself she june knows how to pacify herself i know my daddy is just waiting for me i know my daddy loves me i know my this is us waiting in the car i had to say yeah of course your father loves you of course no worries right now he's, just, he's flying he's flying in the sky he's gonna land and get you there's no story i didn't tell june to make her believe that her father was waiting for her there's no story i didn't conjure up to make her believe. yes baby just so she can know that you know everything is everything is okay me i'm not a vindictive ex in fact the moment i'm vindictive i cannot create music i cannot hold you in bad contempt but i just don't want you threatening me that you're coming to my house with the police then i show up at the pickup spot and wait for you for four hours and you don't show up this is what happened god honest truth Corita chester thank you all so much for the stars Yes, sir. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, that's exactly what happened. So, I wanted you guys to know exactly what happened because a lot of um, bloggers are going about saying, saying all sorts of horrible things about me, talking about how. I was cooking noodles for the girls. Doing a daily thing. Yes, my love. What is it? Yes, baby. Atitemi. You want to write your ABCs? No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically what happened. Thank you guys for the star party. Love you, Janice Brown. Thank you so much for 200 stars. 
The beauty about here is once you know your rights and once you know exactly what happened and you're not in the wrong, the police have no they have no business, no choice but to just say, Okay, thank you ma'am and you know and let you go about your day. But if you don't know your rights, you could be ridden or you know, you could be you could be played. I know my rights. I know I know that I'm not in the wrong. I know that I did the right thing and I know that I and I'm so grateful that I went to the police to report that there was nobody there for four hours. If I had not, this case would be a slam dunk uh she's violating court orders and da 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 da. It would have been a slam dunk. She's violating court orders. With six thousand four hundred people watching. <laughs> Please guys, I have new music coming out. Also, my new music for the Gallant video is out on the 19th. Uh, I have new music coming out, state-of-the-art video shot in Cancun. Amazing videographer, underwater photographer, Fran Reina. Go check it out. It's called Give Me Love. And yeah, that's basically it. Cleo Morris, thank you for 20 stars. You guys like drama. See all of you. This is what happened. I'm not stopping anyone from seeing his kids. Next week, we're going to exchange, and if he likes to keep them for two weeks, he's free to do so. Ah. Yeah, so this is exactly what happened. Bloggers, stop saying what you don't know, and stop trying to capitalize on this. Eh? It's all gone and dusted.